welcome to Pirate News. I'm Megan Gonzalez. And I'm Olivia Klein. In today's newscast, we will discuss upcoming Seton Hall events, your Seton Hall sports, and the five-day forecast. Join the School of Theology today from 345 to 415 as they present Facebook Live, Christianity and Human Happiness. The School of Theology's Patrick Manning and Associate Dean Diane Trafflett will discuss his new upcoming spring graduate course, Christianity and Human Happiness. You can ask them questions in real time, all from the location of your choice. To receive a notification when the event goes live, like the School of Theology on Facebook. For more information, contact Diane Carr at diane.carr at shu.edu. Observe the art exhibitions of David Friend's Gas Stop and Tom McGlynn's standards at the Walsh Gallery from November 5th to December 14th, 2018. Friend's series of black and white photographs taken between 1978 and 1981 examine the culture, architecture, and landscapes of the American gas station. Tom McGlynn's abstract paintings encompass a variety of interpretations evoked through the artist's use of color, shape, and proportion. For more information, please contact Danielle Clements at danielle.clements.chu.edu. Today, from 7 to 9.30 p.m. at the South Orange Performing Arts Center, the Arts Council's Classic Concert Series presents Gio Achino Rossini's Barber of Seville. The series will present the Mid-Atlantic Symphony Orchestra, Soloist, and the Seton Hall University Chamber Choir under the direction of Jason Tram. For more information, contact Danielle Clements at danielle.clements at shu.edu. The weekly faculty lunch will be held today, Wednesday, November 14th, in the faculty lounge. This event will take place from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and provide time for colleagues across campus to socialize in a relaxed environment. Faculty members must pay $3 for an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet. For more information, contact Mary Balkin at shoe.edu. And now we'll head over to Christian Gardner with your Seton Hall sports update. Christian? Thanks, Megan. Hi, Seton Hall fans. I'm Christian Gardner, and this is your Seton Hall sports update. On Sunday, the Seton Hall women's basketball team finished their first annual tip-off tournament. They came home with another win, beating UTSA 84-53. The Pirates were led by junior Shadeen Samuels' 23 points. Samuels also went home with some hardware, receiving the tournament MVP. The women's basketball team will be back in action tonight against Princeton. The men's team took on New Haven last Friday, winning 73-62. The Pirates were led by sophomore Miles Kale. Kale led the team in scoring and three-pointers. The men's team is also in play this evening against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Can the Pirates recreate the same production on offense out in Lincoln? We'll see at 7.30. The volleyball team had their senior night on Friday. Seniors Sophia Coffey, Caitlin Koska, Sharice Hannigan, Abby Thielen, and Miranda Higginbotham said their final goodbyes to Walsh Gymnasium. The Pirates were unfortunately lost but still have storied careers left behind them. Well, that's going to do it for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Christian Gardner. Now back to Olivia and Megan for more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Christian. Seniors, the last day for class ring orders is today, Wednesday, November 14th from 12 to 5 p.m. Balfour will be offering discounts to the class of 2019 for on-campus orders only. The table can be found in the Galleon hallway by the front entrance to the cafeteria. For any questions, contact Megan Borowick at megan.borowick at shoe.edu. Are you interested in grants and restricted funds? Stop by the Department of HR, The Martin House, from 10 to 11.30 a.m. tomorrow to discuss on fund setup, purpose and function of the various fund types, allowable and unallowable costs, indirect costs, and proper usage of procurement and HR payroll forms. Register for this event via email at hrtod at shoe.edu. And now we'll take it over to Aliza Hewlett with your five-day weather forecast. Aliza? Thanks, Olivia. Hello, my name's Aliza Hewlett with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Today, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 40 and a low of 26. There's a chance of snow on Thursday with temperatures reaching a high of 34 and a low of 32. We can expect rain on Friday morning, high of 43 and a low of 32. The, predict the weekend is predicted to clear up a bit with mostly sunny conditions on Saturday, high of 47 and a low of 31. Wrapping up our forecast, Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 44 and a low of 30 degrees. Once again, my name's Aliza Hewlett. Now back to Megan and Olivia with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Aliza. Tomorrow, Thursday, November 15th from 1230 to 3 p.m., there will be a retirement symposium. This presentation is open to all Seton Hall employees and we'll discuss Medicare, Social Security, and TIAA. The event will be held in the back rooms of the Walsh Library. To register for the event, email benefits at shoe.edu. 
Join the Korean Language Club as they present free lessons in Korean language and culture. Students can study Korean with native speaker Yong Kim at SHU's Language Resource Center in Fahey 203B on Fridays from 2 to 3 p.m. For more information, contact Michael Stone at michael.stone at shu.edu. And that concludes today's broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Olivia Klein. And I'm Megan Gonzalez. Thanks for watching and have a great day.